All right, welcome to the next part of the tutorial for making ships. <clears throat> um, first thing we gotta know when we're making a ship is what type of ship is it? How is it going to look? The best way to go over that is to do something like this web page I found here, Dragon Lair, Um It's just basic. They're basically saying a ship is like a character and uh, you should figure out what type of character your ship has. It's great advice. Um, I'm thinking that this ship that we're working on is a very old design. It's a system ship, right? So they've been around even before uh, jump drive, most likely. Um, so I'm going to do ships that are a lot like submarines, the doors and, and whatnot in, in, the, in the interior of the ship. Um, so with that thought in mind, I created this door. This uh, door here has five millimeters for the deck plating, has five centimeters for whatever comes on top of the deck, whatever goes over the top. I don't know what it might be, rugs perhaps. Um, then I have um, 25 centimeters. Um, it's just basically a little plate at the bottom of the door that people step over. All the submarine doors seem to be made that way. They're not flush with the bottom of the floor like a house door. Um, and from the floor from here to here is two meters. That's the height of the doorways in my house. And, and also in my house I have uh, 50 centimeters of space here. And then so between here and here is the space above the ceiling. This is where all the pipes and, and duct work and electrical work would be because the walls are only one centimeter or perhaps five centimeters thick. Um, we need the space at the top. So now here's the ship plan. Um, I'm going to use L. That's not L. I use L which um, selects all linked vertices. Um, I don't want the door here involved in this, so I'm going to deselect all these bits. Yeah, the sides too. Um, I also don't want to see all these numbers. They're just in the way at this point. And I already know the heights. I've already designed the heights of everything, so I don't need to worry about the heights. Okay, now I get everything selected that I want. Oh, I want to point out something. Um, I put in all these circles. They're just basically markers so that I can line up these circles with these circles. Um, another thing you're going to find out is when you take this piece and you move it on top of this piece, the edges aren't going to line up perfectly. For example, here this line isn't quite right. It's going to have to be moved over a bit. We can work on that later. Matter of fact, you can work on that later. I'm not going to bother to show you how to move edges because we've already done that quite a few times. Um, and the third thing, each one of these here is a different object. Currently, this object and this object are the same. I'll show you how to switch that in a second, but I've already switched this one just to save time. So back to our side view and our door. So now I want to make sure I have snapping on and I'm going to snap to the active thing. I want to have vertex select on, just makes life easier. Um, and now we extrude. And I want to lock the Z so that things extrude. This looks really weird. I'm not sure what's going on here. But let's see, is that right? Yeah, something is definitely wrong. Um, what is it now? Huh, I don't know what that was, but in any case, ah, shoot, an error. This is actually an error we can live with. I'll come back. I don't know how I did that. I managed to move the door sideways. But we can come back to that. Um, so extrude that. Extrude again up to the next height. 
that's good. Um, now I extrude the, the next height. Uh, it's also fine. Now I have to go and deselect all the doors. Because we want doors to be holes. We don't want them to move up with the rest of it. So there's a door. Oh, I have to be on lines to deselect lines. So there's a door. There's a door. There's a door. There. 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 This is probably not supposed to be there, but that's okay. Um, here's a couple more doors. There, there. I didn't go through and make sure all my doors were the same width. Probably silly. I'm probably going to pay for that um, in the end. It's better to get these details right when they're 2D than when they're 3D. But since this is a tutorial, I'm not too worried about it. But on your own ships, I recommend making all your doors the same size. You'll save yourself a lot of hassle in the end process. So back to my side view. Now we're going to extrude up again. Again, I want to see my vertices. So extrude up to here. And now we got to go back and turn them all back on again. Actually, we don't. I'm sorry. We have to actually um, go through and create new surfaces. So to do that, I'm going to go back to Edge Select. It's faster. I'm going to select this edge. And this is going to take a while because these edges are small. Um, I want to select this edge. and this edge and then F to fill so I select that edge and I shift select this edge so I have both those edges and I fill mouse click if you're using standard blender settings left mouse click with shift fill yeah blender can be a pain like that if you don't have things scaled up enough I probably had the other door still selected and I shift clicked. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Fill. Um, said this is an door, so I'm just going to ignore that. Mm-hmm. 
I must not have selected the right thing here. I made a mistake. Hard to say what happened, but that's pretty easy to go back and repair. I missed this edge here, but that's okay. So I can simply do this and this and this and this. And over here it was already extruded um, and extruded. Here, here, zero. Takes care of that little mistake. Ah, same mistake on the other side. Oh well. Here, oh, there, there, fill. There now might be an interior um, vertice there. Not too wonderful, but again, we can go back and erase it. Not a big deal. If it really bugs you, if something's really bad, you can always undo if you have enough undos there. Okay, now we can finally do our top of our door here. I did the same thing, I missed that edge. Seems to be a real problem under there. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, we'll try extrude, extruding this up. wrong. For 
for some reason. Actually, I bet I know why. It's often easier to be in point mode, make sure you have an, an uh, active vertice, and then extrude up and lock. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it and waste your time trying to figure that out. Obviously, the next step will be to repeat what we've done, only to highlight or to select all of these top edges, including the tops of the doorways, and extrude up, extrude up two more levels. I'm going to cut this video here. Sorry about that little mess at the end. Um, and I'll let you know when I figure out what the heck was going on. But you get the idea. We now have a pretty cool looking 3D ship plan. Thanks for your time.